Hey Bears, welcome to my channel. My name is Kayla June, Kale Barb on social media, and this bear face right here is about to look like the night starry sky. Are you ready? So first I'm going to take the Maybelline Master Prime Hydrate and Smooth Primer and put that all over my face to really create a soft, clean canvas. So next I'm taking the NYX Cosmetics Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and pretty much here I'm just marking half of my face. So pretty much determining where I want the Galaxy makeup to be and where I just want plain foundation to be. Then I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation in 120 and I'm just patting that like I normally do with my routine into the bottom half of my face and I'm just taking the Morphe Beauty Sponge and I'm blending it all in together. Now taking the Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape Concealer in Light, I'm just putting it on my cupid's bow, the tip of my nose, and my chin to highlight those certain points of my face, and then taking the same sponge and blending it in together. Taking the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder and the Morphe E41, I'm just going to take a bunch of powder like I normally do and I'm just going to set the bottom half of my face where I put all the foundation and all of the concealer. So after I did my eyebrows and I primed them with the Tarte Concealer, I'm taking the NYX Cosmetics uh, White matte eyeshadow in whipped cream and I'm using that to set the lids instead of using uh, the cover FX powder which I normally do in a normal routine. So I'm just setting both sides because it will show a lot more pigment and this is a perfect look to do so. So next I am taking the Morphe 35B palette if I can get it open. There you go Kayla. And I am taking the yellow shade all the way at the bottom in the corner. And I'm going to take this with a Morphe brush and I am going to add that in my transition shade and I'm just taking that on both sides of the eye. So then after that I'm taking the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette, my favorite palette ever, and I'm going to take the shade Electric and put that in my crease. So right below the yellow shade I'm adding that light matte pink shade. Then I'm taking the shade Dippy in the same BH Cosmetics palette and I am putting that all over the lid. Um, this shade is actually very pigmented as you can tell and I'm just packing that as if it were a glitter like I normally do and I'm just putting that all over the lid with a flat brush by Morphe Cosmetics. And to blend everything in very nicely, I'm going back in the Morphe 35B, taking that yellow shade in the corner, same fluffy Morphe brush, and I am just blending the two shades together and making the yellow pop even more. So then I'm taking the shade Palooza and I'm putting that on the outer V of the eye and blending it in so it creates a blue, then a purple, and then the pink on top of the lid. So next I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape in Light, and this move was on the fly. I decided to not use white face paint because I didn't want a greasy mess on the top half of my face, and I wasn't sure how everything was going to blend. So I decided to use concealer instead since it is a thicker consistency, and I know it's very reliable with eyeshadows. So then I just used a Morphe Beauty Sponge, and I blended it all together. Then I'm taking a NYX eyeshadow in Whipped Cream, so it is a white matte shade, and I'm using that to set the entire face, or at least the portions where I know I will have the most eyeshadow and where I want the most pigment. After applying the white eyeshadow all over the face, I'm then going to go back in with the BH Cosmetics shade called Electric, and I'm going to apply this with the same brush 
on certain parts of my face. So what I did with these eyeshadows is I spread them out evenly. I didn't put it um, as one base, then another base, then another base because I wanted it all to blend in perfectly. So first I added the pink and I put it on the sides of my cheeks and my temples. The second shade I used is Swag in the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette and I did the same technique as using electric but instead of using the bigger brush I used a smaller real techniques brush and I applied it on the certain areas and the empty spots of the face so I added some on top of electric I focused more on the front of my face and my nose and down under my eyes Then taking the shade Palooza in the same palette, I am focusing on the larger parts of my face, thinking it as the blue sky. And I really like this blue shade because it's very pigmented, it's very matte, and it's very blendable. So I'm just putting it on the empty patches of the face, and then I'm going to take another brush and really blend everything in together. And for the last matte shade in this palette, I am using Dippy, and, and I am applying it onto the last patches of the face. So any spots that are empty, I'm just filling it in. I really like this dark pink shade. It is very vibrant, and I think it's very pretty and very suitable for this look. So I'm just adding it into... Um, the portions of my face where I would pretty much contour or the patches where I want to be more distinctive. Now moving on to shimmer. So first I take Ultimate in the BH Cosmetics palette and I put it on top of the light blue Palooza shade just to make it more glittery so my face isn't completely just matte. So there is shimmer in my half top portion of the face and then I take the Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place and I'm taking the shade Bori, which is the hot pink glittery shade, and I'm going to put that wherever all the pinks lay. So I'm going to really glitterify this look with this shade. And it's really, really vibrant and very pigmented, so it's going to come out really dark. But don't forget, take a brush that it has no product on it and just blend everything together. So then I took the shade Wicked finally, and it is the purple shade in the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette. It also is very iridescent and glittery. Um, I just remember to put it on the spots where I felt that the purple was disappearing and the pink was overwhelming. So then I took the NYX Cosmetics White Liquid Liner in Blanc, and I decided to really take my time with this part. It is very difficult and it takes a lot of time and patience, so be prepared. But I wanted to create all the stars and I had trouble with creating stars at first. So I just decided to create crosses and X's around the face and really focusing on those especially. So first I laid out the X's and the crosses on the spots that I knew I wanted them to be. And then I filled in the empty spots with the dots and it will all come together, just trust me. So even for this part right here, as you can see, I highlighted with the liquid liner underneath the brow bone, so I used that to highlight. So this is also a very good technique. And I just took it up above the brow to really emphasize the shape of the brow and to really focus on the stars themselves. But remember, this took me about 10 minutes, so all patience. But then finally, I take Wicked again, and I just place that right on the lid and I blended in the two shades together just to really make the lids iridescent and more similar to the face. Then taking the Stila Cosmetics Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow 
in the shade into the blue. I just placed that where I put Wicked just to really emphasize the blue purple iridescent look. And then taking the same flat brush, I am blending the two together so it's not patchy and it really blends in with the pink and the blue. Now I'm taking the NYX Cosmetics Glitter Primer and a NYX Glitter in the shade number six. I actually do not know this shade, let me double check. It is called Crystal and it is a metallic silver. So I'm just doing this process where I'm putting the glue down first with a brush and then I'm taking the glitter on another brush and I am placing it in spots where I really want it to pop. So basically I put it in the areas where I would usually highlight. Um, normally I don't highlight in the center of my face, but that's where I really want the video to and the photos to be captured on this look. So I focus on the frontal parts of my face and where I highlighted. So on the cheekbones and on the front of the face. So then finally for lips, as you can see, I am almost there and almost done. So I'm taking Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipsticks. And first I start with the shade You Better Work, which is one of my favorite purple shades. They're both matte. And I just wanted to create a ombre look for this. And then I just wanted to let it dry because I really wanted to make this ombre really pop. So then after I take the shade Self Control and I just place a little bit at the bottom and a little bit at the top and then I take a separate brush and I blend the two together. And yeah, this is the final look. Obviously I need a serious haircut, but I do hope you enjoyed this Galaxy Inspire tutorial. Um, I am trying to get into more creative looks. I really do hope you enjoyed this one. If you haven't checked out my Glam Skull, I will link that down below. But my name is Kayla June, Kale Barb on social media. Leave a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye bears.